the Shoulder OPAT is a web-based system for training and evaluation in diagnostic shoulder arthroscopy. This short video is designed to aid the user in completion of a shoulder OPAT. There is the facility to undertake this assessment in a patient or in a cadaveric or simulation setting, with scores being adjusted accordingly. Basic demographics and trainers details are entered to enable later validation of the assessment. The OPAT commences with an examination under anaesthetic and a box is ticked for each correctly performed step. Once the patient has been positioned for the procedure, the trainee is then required to identify all of the relevant anatomical landmarks. These may be marked with a pen if so desired, and each correctly identified landmark obtains a score. The trainee is then asked to introduce the arthroscope into the glenohumeral joint. The score reduces with each attempt, and a maximum of three attempts is allowed. Once in the joint, there is the option for a viewed arthroscopy in which all of the anatomical structures are identified visually or with the use of a probe in which all of the structures are palpated. There are more points available for the probed procedure as this is a progression from the simply viewed one. Each anatomical structure is identified in turn. There is the option to simply view them, to centre them on the screen, or to manipulate them with the probe. During the procedure, the trainee is also evaluated for their ability to proceed in a logical fashion, and the care with which they treat the articular surfaces. There is also the facility to mark a structure as absent, so that the trainee is not penalised in this case. The sequence of the arthroscopy is not important as it is recognised that there are personal preferences. It is important to recognise that a logical sequence is being followed and this is scored appropriately. Once the glenohumeral arthroscopy has been completed, the time taken is recorded. There is a maximum score for a procedure performed under two minutes and a progressively decreasing score thereafter. If the trainee fails to make progress for 30 seconds, then the arthroscopy is stopped and the trainer should take over. A similar procedure is undertaken for the subacromial bursa if this is visualised. There is a score for introducing the arthroscope into the bursa in a timely fashion and for the ability to introduce an instrument and for identifying or palpating the major structures.
Once the procedure has been completed, feedback must be given in the appropriate section before a score can be generated. The score is given as a percentage, taking into account the absence of any structures. A separate score is given for the glenohumeral joint and the subacromial bursa, recognising that both may not be visualised at every arthroscopy. The score is also represented graphically to assist with the monitoring of progress. The score can then be submitted to the trainer electronically for later validation.